In this video, we're gonna take a look at cooldown and timer units. I decided to continue the series that I was making, how to use Unity Bolt units. So this is gonna be part six. The example that I have right here is a top-down tank. And currently I have an ability of shooting the bullets, but as you can see that I have no limit of how fast I can shoot it. So I can spam those bullets. And the cooldown and the timer units can actually be used in this case. So let's go and show how we can use this. So this is my tank graph right here. And right now, whenever I click space, you can see that I spawned three bullets. So right here in between, I actually want to add cooldown and you can find cooldown by going under the timer or searching for it. We have a cooldown unit. Let's add that in. And in here, when I get a key input, I want to connect it right there. And then when it's ready, then I want to allow the spawn. So how the cooldown works in this case is that the flow is going to only go through whenever the cooldown is ready. Once one second is passed, then it's going to trigger and only in another second, it will allow the spawn to be repeated. Let's decrease the duration from one second to half a second so we can shoot the bullets faster and let's go test it out. So you can see right now, no matter how much I press the bullets, the bullet only gets shot the fastest of half a second. So if you want to increase the fire rate, you can decrease the duration of the cooldown and that way you can control how fast you can shoot. Now, before we take a look at the timer unit, let's go through the options that we have here. So the reset is to reset this cooldown. So if your cooldown is really large, you can have another way of resetting that. The duration is the amount of seconds you want to delay. The Boolean for unscaled, that option is to determine if you want to actually use time scale. If you don't know, you can actually set a time scale. By default, it's at one, but if you set it to zero, everything that is using time scale is gonna stop. So that's one of the ways that you can pause your game. On the outputs, we have ready, which we're using right now. Then you can do something different if it's not ready. Then on every tick, which is going to be every update call, you can do something there or you can use on completed, which is like a timer completed. You can also get the float value of remaining seconds you have to wait or remaining percentage. So if you want to show a reload circle for like bullets, you can actually use this remainder percentage to display that. Now that we looked at cooldown, let's take a look at a timer and use a timer for automatic shooting. So let's go find a timer and we'll disconnect it from cooldown and use the timer instead. I'll disconnect the cooldown for now. And now whenever the timer is started, I want to spawn those bullets. After the timer is completed, what I want to do is actually start the timer again. But you can see that I can't connect it directly to the start. So what you can do is use a sequence instead. And in here we can just say the sequence of one. So that's just to allow me connect back to start. So with this, once we click space, it should start automatic firing every second. And let's increase it to 0.2 seconds. But one more thing that I want to add is once I release the space to actually stop it. So let's go and say once up, I want to pause this timer. When the timer is paused and you trigger start, the timer gets reset. And that's exactly what's going to happen once we click the button again. The settings for the timer are close to what we have for the cooldown. We have pause and resume options and toggle if you want to just use one input to switch between the state of those pause and resume duration and scale exactly what we have for cooldown then we have a started output which is whenever the timer is started then we have tick and completed just like we have in the cooldown for the values outputs we have elapsed options as well as remaining and with that let's go and try it out so you can see that once i hold the space bar down you can see that it's out of firing those bullets but with that set up I can still spawn as much bullets as I want. We just remove that cooldown. So another way you can achieve that out of firing with actually using the cooldown, instead of using the space down, you can use hold. And this is gonna use the cooldown to actually limit how fast we can fire and we can leave the settings as is. Let's try it out, click play. And you can see that now our cooldown is working. And if we hold that space button down, you can see that it's continue firing. And as soon as we release it, the bullets stop firing. So that is some of the options you have here. So the cooldown option is better in this case than using the timer. The timer node works better if you just need to do something once. So with this video, I hope you guys got a little bit more info on the timer and the cooldown and how to use them. If you want me to cover any specific unit, 
be sure to write that in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button if you liked the video and I'll see you next time.